I'm Joe with Cloud Academy, and this is our hands-on lab on installing MongoDB with persistent volumes. Now, in particular, we're going to learn how to connect to a virtual machine using an SSH client. So in this lab, we can start within the hands-on lab itself, and the beauty of it is we can just op click Open Console, and it's going to auto-populate an AWS console for us to use. So we don't have to get credentials from somewhere else or anything. So we're going to pop in our provide student ID, go straight into EC2, and we're going to find our running instance. So you'll see we have one here. It's called mongodb.server.instance. There it is. So we know that's running. Now, some other cool stuff we get in the lab is we get a PEM key. Now, in this case, uh, we're using a PEM key because we're logging in with Mac OS, and it would be the same thing with Linux. And we would start to by get grabbing this command right here. It says SSH space dash I. So I'm pasting it right here in my notepad. And there's different components to, the, to this command. Um, SSH is obviously what we're going to try and do. The dot, the dash I, so that initiates the SSH connection. Dash I specifies the identity file. Then you have a space for the path for the PEM key is. Space for your username, which is EC2 dash user. And then a space for the IP address of this Linux instance. So we paste that all in there. And that is our command to create our SSH connection. So we'll take that and we're going to go into terminal or to, into a terminal window. And we enter that and then we get some sort of an error. It says, uh oh, a connection can't be established. Okay. As we know with these cloud applications, things are always happening. You have to figure it out. So do we want to continue? Yes. And we get another scary warning. Unprotected private key file. Well, that's because we haven't been given, given this PEM key permission. So all this is covered in your lab, but you're going to use the chmod600 command enter in the path to the PEM key, and then re-enter your original SSH command, and there you have it, you're in. Now you'll be able to continue your lab, and the next step is gonna be cool, because you'll be able to format and mount persistent volumes on this Linux instance. So you can learn more at cloudacademy.com.